from the depth of your heart, bless him from your soul. Say thank you to him. Say thank you to him. Just the word thank you enough is, 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 is enough for him. He doesn't need anything from us. He need his he, 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 he just need thanksgiving from us. Say thank you to him. Thank you, Jesus, this morning. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you for all that you have done, all that you are doing, and all that you're about to do. Say thank you to him. Say thank you from the depths of his your heart. Say thank you to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you. We thank you forever. We will forever thank you. Your praise will not cease in our mouth. We thank you. 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 We we continue to stay in prayer, beloved. And we we, we at this moment I want us to ask for forgiveness of sins. For all our sin and fall short of his glory. Wherever we have fallen short of his glory, sins unknowingly, sins knowingly. May he may, may we plead for mercy this time around and ask for forgiveness. It's by his compassion that is why we are still alive. That is why we are not consumed. Oh, ask for repentance of sins. Ask of repentance of sins. May he cleanse us of all unrighteousness. May he cleanse us of all unrighteousness. As we start a new week, oh Lord, pour out your mercy upon us. May your mercy go ahead of us and show us your mercy. For it is not by our might. Plead for mercy, beloved. You cannot do it by your might. It's by his mercy, his compassion. That is why we are not consumed. Look at all the sins we commit during the week, the sins that we have committed. It was just by his mercy. It was just by his mercy. Plead for mercy that as we even start a new week, let his mercy go ahead of you. Let his mercy go ahead of you. Open up your floodgates of heaven, O oh Lord, and pour out your mercy. Pour out your mercy. This week we need your mercy than ever before. We need your mercy. We need your mercy. Only your mercy, O oh Lord. If everything fails, your mercy does not fail. Your mercy does not fail. Father, have mercy upon us. For we are flesh, O oh Lord. Have mercy upon us. Even your spirit bear witness that we are flesh, O oh Lord. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. As we start a new week, open up your floodgate of mercy. Mercy, Lord. Mercy. We ask for your mercy. 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 Open up your floodgate of mercy unto us. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Beloved, we continue to pray. And we are living in the last days. We are living in the last days. So I want us to pray about, I want us to pray and ask for God for the spirit of patience. The spirit of patience to wait upon him as we wait upon his glory. He should grant us the spirit of patience. Patience to wait for they that wait upon him will mount up with wings as eagles. May he give us the patience to wait for him so that we will renew our strength every day. That our strength will be renewed every day like the strength of an eagle. So we will not get weary or we will not faint. But he should grant us patience. Patience that we can wait for his glory. That whatever we are waiting for, whether we are in need of a job, whether we need a, anything we are in need of, he should give us, he should grant us the grace of patience. The grace of patience. He should put in us the spirit of patience to wait for him. The spirit of patience. The spirit of patience. Grant us the spirit of patience. If we are living in the last days, Lord, without your patience, oh Lord, we, we can fall into sin. Father, grant us patience. Patience to wait upon you. Whatever we are waiting upon, whether we are waiting upon a testimony, Father, grant us patience. Give grant us patience, oh Lord. Patience to wait upon you. We know in due time you are going to do it exceedingly abundantly above our expectation. Father, grant us the spirit of patience to wait for you. Renew our strength like the strength of an eagle. May we not faint, may we not get weary. Oh, Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen and amen. Beloved, last deep and not the last, we want us, I want us to pray and commit today's service into God's hands. That he should rain his power into um, upon this today's service. Rain your power, oh Lord. Rain on us, oh Lord. Rain on us. Rain your power through this service. I commit the ministers into your hands. Oh, the praise and worship team. The minister of God who will speak your word. I commit every minister who will stand on the pulpit into your hands. That Father set their, yeah, set their flesh aside. 
And Father, let them use them Lord, for your will and for your pleasure, oh Lord. Use them, oh Lord. Speak through them. For they are empty vessels. Uh. Let everything we do today not be of us, but all of you, Lord. All of you, Lord. All of you, Lord. Let's pray for his reign of power. His reign of power in today's service. That everything we do today, oh Lord, uh, let it come out with his power. Let his power, oh Lord, be, 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 be seen, oh Lord. Let his power, oh Lord, be, be, be manifested in today's service. Uh. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen and amen. We Amen. Jesus, I praise. For we shall magnify your name. Hallelujah for everything you have done for us. What you are doing and what you shall do, Lord God. Lord Jesus, we pray even now in the name of Jesus. Limitations, obstacles, and hindrances have been rolled away from my life, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Every obstacle, every limitation, Lord Jesus. Remove it in the name of Jesus, God. Even now, God, he's our prayer, God. Roll away every stone, oh God, that is trying to bury us. Roll away every stone that is trying to kill. Roll away every stone that is trying to kill, steal, and to destroy, oh God, your people, God. For this is the generation that surprised him. Hallelujah, God. Lord Jesus, raise up a royal priesthood, God. For we are a chosen generation, God. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Second Corinthians 1 and 20 says, for all the promises of God in him are yes, and in him, amen, to the glory of God through us. Let us make this declaration unto the Lord. I have what I say I have. I can do what I say I can do. Oh, God, we believe it, Lord Jesus, even now, God. We believe it, God, even now that we have what we say we have, God. We can do what we say we can do, God, because we are in you, God, because we are in your bloodline, Lord Jesus. Oh, God, even now, God, we pray, oh, God, into us, oh, God, a clean heart, God. Even now, Jesus, rebuke every demonic spirit, God. We rebuke every high place. We rebuke, oh, God, and cast out every demonic Presence, God. Lord Jesus, let your anointing, God, take out every demon, oh God, in this community, Lord Jesus. We pray that your glory would reign, God. We pray that peace would reign, God. We pray that unity would reign, God. Lord Jesus, have your way, God, in this place, God. Have your way, God, in this community, God. Is our prayer, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, God. We command a release of your great love and spirit in our lives and upon our church, oh God. Lord Jesus, we decree and declare that the anointing of God is coming to make people come running in to help catapult this ministry to the next level. Send in willing workers and dedicated members to this vineyard of the gospel. We declare increase in our ministry and that God will enlarge the tents of our ministry. We declare that the Five Point Community Vision will lift off quickly in this Franklin community that every need shall be met and that there shall not be a shortage of volunteers. We decree and declare that every last one of these sanctuary pews shall be filled quickly to the point of overflow, that there shall not be room enough at this current location to hold. We decree uncommon favor in uncommon places with uncommon people. We decree and declare to any sickness, disease, or ailment that you are healed, you have what you say. We decree that this is our birthing season. May every dormant spiritual gift and spiritual office leap forth in the name of Jesus Christ. Today we are going to have a great service. So hallelujah, God. Lord God, we pray, Lord God. Let your anointing, God, your blessing, God, your oil will be upon this service on today, Lord. Lord Jesus, we pray, God, for every stony heart to be turned into a heart of flesh, God, that someone might be saved, oh God, by the hearing of these speakers, Lord Jesus, that someone will be saved, God, that someone will be delivered, God, that lives will be turned around, God. Lord Jesus, we pray that someone will be healed, oh God, in the name of Jesus, God, we pray, Lord Jesus. Oh God, do it, Lord Jesus. Do it, Lord Jesus. Right now is our prayer, Lord God. So Lord, we are thankful to you, God, for everything that
that you have done, what you are doing, and what you shall do, Lord God. So, Lord Jesus, even now, God, oh, God, as we go into the furtherance of this service, God, we pray, God, that your anointing, God, will be upon us. Let your glory be upon us, Lord Jesus. Let your presence be upon us is our prayer. We pray this name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost in Jesus' master's name.
stay connected with KLT by texting More Grace to 833-338-9693 to receive KLT updates and events. Our Kingdom Connect Wednesday takes place this Wednesday, beginning with prayer at 7 p.m., followed by our KLT Bible study at 7.30 p.m. Our Bible study will be on the topic, Living in the Last Days. The Prophetic Manifestation Revival continues on Sunday, June 23rd at 3 p.m., with the speaker being Overseer Robert L. Nelson. Also taking place on Sunday, June 23rd at 3 p.m. during our Prophetic Manifestation Revival, we will have the official anointing ceremony to the Office of Evangelist of Grace, Owosu, and Pofu by the hands of Pastor J. Samuel Canyon. Our Christian Movie Day takes place Sunday, June 30th at 11.30 a.m. The movie is Left Behind, starring Nicolas Cage. There will be food and drinks. The first pastoral anniversary celebration of Pastor J. Samuel and Lady Sandra Canyon kicks off on Sunday, July 21st at 3 p.m. The speaker will be Pastor J. A. Gooding Jr. It will be held right here at KLT. Then on Friday, August 2nd at 7 p.m., the speaker will be our very own overseer of the City Church International Fellowship, the Prophet Brian Keith Karn Jr. It will be held at Mount Calvary UCLD, located at 223 First Street in Elizabeth, New Jersey, 07206. And then the pastoral anniversary celebration will conclude on Sunday, August 4th at 3 p.m. The speaker will be Bishop Selvis R. Green II. It will be held right here at KLT. Volunteers, volunteers, volunteers needed. KLT is seeking individuals to be a part of our praise and worship team, our prayer warriors team, our evangelism outreach team, our hospitality service committee, our KLT media team, and our community development team. If interested, please call or send a text to 862-266-9781. The number again is 862-266-9781. Please follow Kingdom Life Temple of Deliverance on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok, or on our website at www.kltofdeliverance.com. Changing lives for the better through Jesus Christ. To you, you reign on the throne, for you are God and God alone. Because of you, my cloudy days are gone. I can sing to you this song. I just want to say that I love you more than everything. storm when all my friends 
Praise Him, oh God. The Bible says that everything that have breath, praise the Lord, praise ye the Lord. Uh, hallelujah. Lord, I love you. Oh, hallelujah. That's why we worship Him in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I love you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let's let everyone understand at this time. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, I pray even now, God, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. All the people of God say, Amen. And while you're yet standing, I will read in your hearing from St. John. St. John chapter 3. St. John chapter 3. St. John chapter 3, beginning at the 14th verse. Familiar passage of scripture says, And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of God man be lifted up that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have eternal life for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life you may be seated in the presence of the lord hallelujah just for a few fleeting moments i will be with you and share on the topic, I am willing. I am willing. And this is coming from the Lord's perspective. I am willing. willing. So look, even at this portion of the scripture, 
We know that Jesus Christ came here from, from above to come down here so that men and women would be saved for those that believe in him. That is what we call salvation when we accept the Lord Jesus Christ in the forgiveness of our sins, when we repent of our sins, which means we simply turn away from. We change our mind, we change our direction. We change our path from being in a direction of sin into living into a, 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 a situation and direction of where Jesus wants us to be holy and righteous as he is. Hallelujah, for God sent not his son into the world that, that we, so that we could have abundant life, but that we can live with all eternity when we die and leave from this earth so we could go up to be with our Heavenly Father. And the only way we can be with our Heavenly Father is if we are saved because there is yet a heaven and a hell. Hell was created for the, the enemy known as Satan or Lucifer, the devil, and his many angels or fallen angels that went before him and fell down because of the pride that Lucifer thought that he could be more powerful than God. But we serve the God who is omnipotent because he is all powerful. He's omniscient. He knows all things and he is also omnipresent because he is present everywhere. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And, and Matthew chapter 8. Matthew chapter 8. Beginning at the first verse. Matthew chapter 8, beginning at the first verse. The scripture says, When he had come down from the mountain, great multitudes followed him. And behold, a leper came and worshipped him, saying, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Then Jesus put out his hand and touched him, saying, I am willing. Amen. Be cleansed. Yes. Immediately his leprosy was cleansed. And Jesus said to him, See that you tell no one, but go your way. Show yourself to the priests, and after the gift that Moses commanded, as a testimony to them. Again, at the second verse. It says, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. And then Jesus goes on on the third verse to tell him, I am willing. Hallelujah. I am I willing. willing. So we already covered about salvation. God is saying that I am willing to save you if you were only look to me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And here, where, wherever with our, our diseases on this earth, whatever our ailments, we have to know that by his stripes, we are healed. So that gives us to know that even whatever we are going through, that it was already nailed at the cross at Calvary yes. for you Amen. and I. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For I am simply a sinner saved by, by grace. grace. No one is above anybody else. But we are only saved because of the grace and mercies oh, of God. the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the Lord is saying, I am willing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am willing. But are you willing to give yourself and to surrender all to Jesus Christ to enter into your heart, to turn that stony heart into a heart of flesh that you would say, Lord, I want to accept you as my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. For only when we learn to turn to Jesus Christ and the pardon of our sins as we repent, turn from all of our wickedness and we turn unto the Lord. Can he save us and can he make us righteous and holy? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For we serve a God that is holy. Hallelujah. So it does not matter what you have been through, what you have done your entire life because God's 
grace is greater yes. than your wrongdoings. Hallelujah. God's grace is greater than your wrongdoings. Amen. For all of us have sinned and fallen short of the glory of the Lord. No one is better than anybody else, but we are all on the same leveling field. So we must learn to turn to Jesus Christ. Yes. Jesus Christ is the only one that can turn around situations. Jesus Christ is the only one that can turn around things for our good. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, God. For Lord Jesus, we pray even now, God that you would touch someone to call on your name in the middle of the night, in the middle of what you are going through. Hallelujah, Jesus. We know that God is able to do all things but fail. Hallelujah. God is able to do all things but fail. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am willing. Are you willing? Are you willing? Hallelujah. Hebrews chapter 2 verse 9 Hebrews chapter 2 verse 9 says but we see Jesus who was made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death crowned with glory and honor that he by the grace of God should taste death for every man so it gives us to know that Jesus died for everybody. Yes. He did not die for the saints, but he died for the sinners. So whoever believes in him should not praise but have eternal life yes. again, right? So that's why when we always think about it, I have heard growing up in church um, that, that Jesus died for the church. He died for those that are saved. But when we really... We know that Jesus Christ died for the sinners. Jesus Christ died for the unbeliever. Those that do not believe in Jesus Christ, those are the individuals that he actually died for, that they might have a way to actually live in all eternity Hallelujah. with his father. Hallelujah. 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 So that's why Jesus came from above to here. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 9 says, But as it is written, I have not seen nor ear heard, Hallelujah. neither have entered in the heart of man oh, yes. the things which God hath prepared for oh, them Hallelujah. that love him. Yes. So that's when we learn to look yes. upon Jesus, when we learn to look in the pen and put our faith in Jesus Christ, that things turn around for oh. our good. For your eyes have not seen yes. the glory of what yes. God wants to do to you and through you. Hallelujah. 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 You have not heard the things that God has called you to do. For each and every one of us has a calling and a destiny in order to upbuild the kingdom of Hallelujah. God. Yes. That's what we as the church, the body of Christ, have been called to do. Yes. Is to build up the body of Christ. Amen. To build up the Amen. kingdom Amen. of Amen. God. When oh, There are so many churches that are worried about building empires, building large buildings. So that they can be pleasing to themselves but rather we are called to post to be building the kingdom of God that means community business that means helping the community where your church is located that's why we have been called to be here at 91 Main Street hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes. for there is kingdom business for us to do in this community hallelujah. all God is looking for are willing workers I am willing are you willing? Hallelujah. 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 I'm coming to a close. Jeremiah chapter 29, verses 11 to 13 says, For I know the dots that I think towards you, saith the Lord, dots of peace and not of evil. That's again, dots of peace, not of evil. For God does not give you dots of evil. God does not give you dots to kill, steal, and to destroy you. That only comes from the hand of the enemy. Hallelujah. But he gives you peace in the midst of the storms of life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Dots of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. Then shall ye call upon me and ye shall go and pray unto me and I will hearken unto you and he shall seek me and find me when ye shall search me 
with all your heart. Yes. That's all we got to do if you want to be willing. We have to search the Lord with all of our heart. It does not take much to accept the Lord as your Savior yes. and Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 Romans Hallelujah. 8 and 18 says, For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy yes. to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed Hallelujah. in us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Whatever we have to go through, we will be suffered as Christian. We will be persecuted for believing in Jesus Christ. But we have a final destination, and that is in heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For we want to be up there in heaven when we leave from this earth whether that is by the grave or by the translation the rapture when Jesus Christ cracks the sky to bring all of those that believe in him back up to heaven before the great tribulation for we are living in the last days hallelujah yes, hallelujah. hallelujah and Joel chapter 1 and 4 says that which the palmer worm have left have the locust eaten and that which the locusts have left hath the canker worm eaten. And that which the canker worm hath left hath the caterpillar eaten. That is speaking of total destruction because the enemy wants to eat at our joy. He wants to eat at whatever your peace is looking at in life. He wants to eat away any type of, of faith that you have in Jesus Christ. He wants you to have seeds of doubt. Seeds of discord in your family seeds of disunity even on your business he wants you to have everything that is not of God hallelujah Jesus but the Lord is saying I am willing I am willing I am willing but are you willing hallelujah Jesus hallelujah pray that this message has touched somebody's heart Hallelujah, that you will have a get to a closer decision into accepting the Lord as your Savior. Yes, yes. For we do not know the day nor the night when the Son of Man shall come back. So we need to be ready. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And even beyond that, we don't know the day that we will die or depart from this world. So we need to be ready, get ready, and stay, stay ready. ready. So get ready. Stay ready. Get ready and stay ready. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So at this time, if there be anyone that wants to accept the Lord Jesus as their personal Savior, you may come at this time. For the Lord is willing. Hallelujah. He's saying, I am willing. Are you willing? Hallelujah, Amen. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. Lord, we praise you. 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 Hallelujah. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we praise you. Hallelujah. That's the highest praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. 
Jesus, we pray, Lord Jesus, oh God, that you continue to move in this community, continue to move upon the people, Lord Jesus, the residents, oh God, anything that is not well, God, we pray, God, that you would turn around those things, God, to make all things well, God. Lord God, we pray even now, God, for your peace, your mercy, oh God, to be supplied in this community, God. We pray for your favor, God. We pray for your favor, oh God. We pray for your grace and mercy, oh God, to inhabit this place, Lord Jesus. Oh God, we pray, Lord Jesus, even now, God, that souls will be saved, God, that souls will be delivered, that someone will be baptized and filled with your blessed Holy Ghost. Is our prayer, God. Make us more like you each and every day is our prayer, God. For Lord Jesus, we need you like no day before, God. We need you, Lord. Lord, we need you, God. And we are willing, oh God, to serve you. We are willing, oh Lord God, to oh God to, to, to bear our cross, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, God. For Lord Jesus, we will go through things, God. But Lord, you will empower us, God. And you will enable us, oh God, to go through the storms of life, God. To go through every difficulty in the name of Jesus, God. So Lord God, we praise your name. We give your name the glory and the world is to do unto this day. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Jesus, Jesus. Come on in. 